So, good morning, sir. Good morning. It's a beautiful new week in Nigeria. In Monday morning. Uh, yeah, because August break has come back. It was and raining all through, even within August. And another opportunity to talk about what is going on in Nigeria. So, number one, sir. Yeah. The SARAF, um, Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project in Nigeria, urged Tinumbu to stop governors from earning or collecting pension as ex governors. It's a, it's a welcome idea because if you look at that uh, platform, they try. They try because the kind of money they earn for four years, if not the ones that you know uh, could win or have won and stayed up to eight years the money they earn in a first tenure is enough for them they gathered enough see the kind of palliatives uh, let me use that word palliative or we call it uh security votes collected by government is highest among the ministers among the other you know official positions the governor is collecting Billions. I think on the side if you check it monthly or yearly for four years. So this money is enough for them to fund on this money for years after they might have you know handed over to another government. I think understand or finish in the office and what bow out the kind of money these people raked in into their private purses is too much so you forgot about pension they shouldn't be among the pensioners that's where most of the money lower pensioners like soldiers retired policemen retired you know uh, civil servants are going to the money they would have used they could have used for these civil servants thank you they are giving it for those governors and you do not owe governors pension have you seen any governor online waiting for his pension no these are the elites these are the stakeholders of the country these are the first half first class people in nigeria their salaries you don't delay it pension they are not among the pensioners because their money, their program it automatically it enters into the account with other emoluments, benefits, cars, houses. Every four four years they do that one. Buy them cars, do them this. Already they provided house for them in Abuja. Yes, I think. Um, Thank you. They bought houses for them. A fund of one point. 37 million uh, thank you for governors for the ministers for, for the ministers, ministers for accommodation i'm telling you it is unfair this is where our annual expenditure our expenditures go yes nigerian budget oh my god salary it goes on salary the whole nigerian budget go on salary they use the money they should use to build Nigeria, to build infrastructures, to develop the youth, to develop Nigeria for salaries, for themselves. You know how much a senator in Nigeria earns? You know how much a governor in Nigeria earns? It's bigger than the salary of the President of the United States of America. As I'm talking to you now, that dollar has got upper hand. All their salaries, yes, all their salaries are gone up too. So these people, they don't mean well to us. They don't pay them in dollars. They pay them in dollars. Paying them in naira is just a waste of time. They will collect salaries in dollars, equivalent, to make sure that that salary of they pay them is equal to what they earn in abroad. That's why they should do that, and that's what they are doing. Are you listening to me? It's a welcome idea that they scrape pension payment for governors. Governors should not be among the pensioners. They have gathered enough during their uh, service, the time of the service, of the service. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of allowances, emoluments, remuneration have been paid into the account to sustain their generations on board. Generation of their children, offspring. 
So coming back after retirement again, you pay governors pension. It's subsidial. It's the worst thing. They should exclude them. They shouldn't be among the pensioners. The one they stole when they are, you know, they are, they are awarded contracts in court. Every contract awarded by the governors are what overinflated. You don't ask them why because they are the commander in chief of the armed forces of each and every state. They control. So now you are trying to pay them pensions. It's not good. It is not helping our economy. It's not doing us well at all. Rather, it's bringing us backward economically. All right, sir. Thank you for that. Um, another question. Okay. Yes, sir. Tinubu deploy Momot. Momot to Niger Delta for the United Delta Development Ministry. Yeah, yeah. Now we employ him back. Yeah, yeah. Is it has he done a good job for him to get in employment? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody knows the role Momot. Momot play. Played in uh, in Niger Delta Ministry or NDDC Niger Delta Development Commission. I've never heard of, of Momo before. People that have experience of that ministry are one Ozama, one Ozama like that. Ozama, two. Apabio, I listen to me. Three. That one that fainted that day in the house during Buhari regime, when they were questioning him how you know about his uh, appropriation of public bill, uh, handling of you know uh, public funds, so that's how he felt it. And many of them, but I've never had the momos. Momo, I think, should be from how she exists of a uh, state. The same thing with uh, Tony Momo. I think there was Chuka Momo too. So let me tell you, that appointment, so they ask me, it might be compensational. But if you tell me politi how political it is, I will tell you say, I will tell you that hopefully it is right because Momo is from South South. I did not understand. He befits. He should give position of Niger Delta to the what the land owners because the oil comes from their soil. I did not understand. Uh, he, feel, he did not do it the way Buhari does it. So Buhari full and all over the position of Nigeria I doesn't want to know. At least MPA is supposed to be managed by Yoruba man or South South man or South East man. It's people from the Sahel, from the desert. They manage our MPA till date. When uh, this man comes, Tinubu, he will shuffle everything, remove them, put the people he likes, which of course I know they are so South West, South South. Um, Appointment of Momo, I support it, but I don't know whether he has experience of NDDC, Ministry of NDDC, because to manage that, that fund is a platform that is handling money. Fund that is meant for the that is oil producing states. That's it. It's an umbrella, a platform holding together all oil producing states in the South South, South East and the West. Ondo is among them the NDDC, I think so. I think you understand. So what I'm trying to say here, I still reiterate that I don't know whether Momo had previously any experience in that regard. That's what I'm saying. That's me. The tribal appointing Momo, I'm not against that. Momo is from South South. But I don't know whether he's clueless. Because you appoint people that has, you know, people that have experience. They don't understand. If you give this to Kayamo, I think he's a welcome idea. I don't really understand. There are many people, but Momo, I know, is from a good state. It's one of the oil producing states. So it's a welcome idea. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. So that was it from Mr. Ruff. In question now. Obi has own mindset, Atiku has own mindset, and same Atiku was same person that appeared to be as a deputy, I mean, vice president. Obi left say he doesn't want vice presidency, he wants presidency. So who is going to be the president? President among them. Or are they that they are going to form the national unity government? I don't know that will, I don't think that will work. So the politicians should not just come coming out distracting us. We don't need distraction this time around. So, so what what if this is the the match, the link that will bring unity to the country? 
because if you look at it from this edge, Labour Party, PDP, and NPPC, and NMPP, NMPP yeah. coming together, that would be a huge force yeah. that at least join the whole Nigerian together. It's not joining the whole Nigeria together. NMPP is a nothing. Let's just say the uh, nothing. It's a nothing. MPP. PDP, yes. nothing. Right? So, NPP. Uh, it's only labor that you can talk of. It's more Eastern and party. You guys call it. It's Eastern. And, I still repeat it. Labor is Eastern and party. And some people are just realizing. You know, they, they all fought under this guys under the NSAS. And when the, 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 this thing was achieved, the limit will be to factional party. The, uh, you know, try, uh, what's it called? The regional party and regional president. You know, so to me now, a lot of people the votes will be had that time. They can never have that vote again, even if they want to go for the run because they've seen it all. And the followers of Obi are not even helping the issue, they are holding Obi as it is for their own alone. Obi and Obi, a lot of people voted for Obi from outside this terrain, there, from outside this region. But now they've got to be as a uh, Igbo president. People, that's what people are, are been talking to, have been asking us. That's why they are taking it personal. Thank you, thank you very much. So that's just the problem now on ground. It's not good, yeah, it's not a good move for him. So that's why, you know, people we want a federal president, not a, a, a region president. So that's just it. We want a federal president. So that's the mistake that Obi has made, and people have capitalized on that. You know, that all these people that are following you, even the executive council, how many south, south, uh, uh, south, how many south, and you do see? I mean, how many southwest, how many south, this you do see? How many northern, and you see in the executive councils of Obi during the campaign? So look at it. Look at it. It's the facts. So, Obi has trended towards regional presidents, in which I see in that that formation, amalgamation, or I would like call it Maja, ma, ma, Maja, will not work. So you are laughing out. You are laughing at their imagination. I did just say their imagination. It's funny to me. It's funny. Okay, so secondly, sir, the Saraf. The Sarap. Uh, Sarap. Sarap. Yeah, Sarap. Yeah. Yeah. So they urge the president Tinubu yeah. to stop the ex governor from earning a pension. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, that's a good point from the Sarah. And I give it to Abdul Momoni, the owner of that Sarah. He has been fighting the battle of common man silently. And those are the people who have to respect in the terrain of the political space we have now. You know, it's uncalled for a governor that will spend I mean minimum of four years in power. Some use eight years, it depends on how you are grounded politically. He enjoys all the goodies of the governance. They enjoyed everything. Now, when they are now going, you see not do what? You now start giving them pension. Abi? And that pension, we don't, they, they ought not to be collecting any pension. But an average governor collects security votes every month. Security votes every month. There's a security vote for an average governor to, to spend. Some of them don't have crisis in their state, but they will still collect that money and they will pocket that money. So to me, as it is, I say no to governor's pensions. I say no to it. Even president. I say no to president pensions. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So what do you see about this? No, the issue is the only way you can ask the current um, president out of office in the Maryland of election of uh, 2027 is for other political parties to come together and form alliance. That is the truth. We will go into the election as individual judge that what we did in this country. The current Mr. President will soon move. 
Okay, thank you for that. Sarah urged the president to stop the ex governor from earning pension. Is this a good development? Uh, but it's uh, quite unfortunate that even if the courts lose in that manner, they will still be earning it. The issue is you have some governors who perhaps uh, have worked and retired at any pension from where they were before for government and they really their tenure as a governor, they are earning their own uh, collecting uh, pension. So there are some people who are collecting up pension in three places. So it's because in Nigeria everything goes. In a social society, I don't think that is um, that, that is going to be obtainable. But if the court can rule on that, I think it's a welcome development. That's a welcome development. Then, lastly, sir, the federal government spent 1.37 million euro on accommodation for the newly appointed ministers. What do you have to say to this, sir? <laughs> Even if we say it's wrong, we will still do it. Record that recently, federal government spent 70 billion for national assembly members. Where they say it's a high reward for the of the new members. So, no matter what you say, we will still do it. But for me, I think it's, 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 wrong. it's wrong. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. So that is all from you. So good morning this morning. Yes, yes good morning. Good morning. As you can see, I'm very hot this morning. And this morning, I'm very much annoyed. Mind with Nigeria, annoyed with everybody. But this morning, I'm annoyed. So, Nigerians, I want to greet you. Nigerians, that's where Nigeria, anywhere you are watching me from, I want to say good morning to everybody this morning. This is a son, MC Grammar. I did no introduction. All of you already know me. You said you are hot. I'm not seeing the fire. Bro. Yeah, because I'm angry this morning. Nigeria is annoying me. So we just have to, we just have to. Tell Nigerians some things that they need to know. I'm most especially Nigerian government. All right, sir. First thing, sir, there's a rumor going around the country that the Labour Party with um, Obi and the PDP article with Okwa Kwasu, the NNPP party, chair, party presidential um, candidate wants to march together and form a formidable alliance against Tinubu, the current president. Is you know, you know, we move for Kansu. Kansu is not party. So Kansu is a stubborn man. I don't know why Nigeria like rumor. Kansu is a stubborn man naturally, so they cannot be a party to that. So whatever they don't know, those are just let them forget that. The only people that is fighting this fight is just Atiku and Pitu. So they, that one is just a rumor. Nigeria, just Nigeria, they always come with rumor. That's one thing about Nigeria. Let me tell you one thing. If I decide to give somebody two million today, trust Nigeria in less than a month. You, somebody will tell you that I gave the person 20 million. Somebody said I was even the one he gave him 30 million. But it's 2 million that I gave the person. So it's this Nigeria. So that one is a rumor. So that one is out of it. Because you already, you already know me. I always hit the nail at the head. I always tell you nothing but the truth. Because I am born out of truth and I will always tell the truth. That is just a clear rumor. No God has planned that they are not begging anything. Papa says that only is for man. I didn't think Papa will come and make me. He said it doesn't work. I didn't think that political deal. Other this parties with her. Those are just rumor from the Nigerians. So second is that the syrup, the syrup, we urge the president to stop the ex-governor from any pension. So what do you have to say to, to stop the ex-governor ex from any pension after they are four years? You can stop years. it. This is, uh, this is how corrupt we are. Even Tirubu cannot stop it. What does he know? But I told you that what does he want to do? A man who cannot even talk well. So how does he stop the distance? Before you came into power, it has been existing. That will be that by the over Kuni. Over Kuni, yeah. That's the truth. He cannot stop. He knows it. So if they want, let them collect, continue to collect that pressure. The pressure is not what I'm against. It fix my country for me. I'm not against your pension. Any motherfucker can collect pension. But what I'm saying, fix my country. Okay, if they stop collecting pension, then all those workers that have retired, they should stop their own too. And that have been a jail as a lot of money. No, let's say the truth. Well, well, when we are supposed to say the truth, we hit it. We won't say because they are governors, they'll be hitting a lot of money. Now they want to collect a pension. Somebody said they should not collect your mind. They are, they are entitled to collect a pension. So it's their normal right. 
to collect their pension. But the thing is, fix my country. That's what I'm after. I'm not even after the pension. Just fix my country. Let everything start working in my country. Then, to help you, you can collect any pension you want. That's the one problem. Because you worker, government worker, when you retire, I need to not pay you pension. How do you feel? And you are telling another man not to collect pension. You put no reason. If it were me, what will I do? That's how I do as reason. So that I'm not a supporter of it that they should not collect pension. They are entitled to their pension because you, whatever makes you to be a government worker, you collect your pension. And just like after work, what to collect they say they have cancelled it. How will you feel you yourself a worker? Now he's a the ex governor. Ex governor of a, a state and he says he should not collect his pension. You guys shut up, please delete that one. So federal government is spend one point thirty seven billion on accommodation for the forty five ministers appointed currently. See, I don't want to be any other stories because each time I hear it's just annoying. It shows that we have stupid governments, it shows that we have people that are not thinking, it shows that we have fools as a government as a as a government, it shows that we don't have we have many intelligent people there. It shows that we don't have um, people that are capable to rule this country. It shows that we don't have mature-minded souls. It shows that we have um, people that are very heartless. Five governors, imagine. But we don't care because this is just you know only care for themselves. Themselves. So this is promises. Why do the promises not shout? That's the problem. They the keep on lying on the promises until your promises. Come out of the street to protest. They say no, in the devil is in the They cannot protest. They just sit in their bedroom, they be shouting every day. Cha 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 cha. Toothless dog that cannot bite. They are just toothless dog. So, the youth, I cry for the youth. I cry for the masses of Nigeria. I don't really, I don't really cry for this people. I cry for the masses of this country. Why I cry for the masses of this country is because they don't know the right thing to do. So, this is the time we are supposed to come out to say no. And nobody's coming out, everybody's sitting down. This is going to be the last thing, sir. Burkina Faso and Mali deploy a war plane to Niger, to Niger Republic, after it was threat to assist. Our class still insists they want to evade. Okay, fine, no problem. They should evade now. You understand? Nobody's going to tell them. But what I've seen that one is going to be tough. Even to the moon, very soon, I didn't tell you. I dreamt a dream whereby Tinubu was returned. There's a re re election between um, um, P2B and Atiku. Eventually, P2B won. So, that's what I see. They are going to the train to the moon. All this is, is just rubbish. So, let's just watch. All this Jagabat, Jagabat. You will come back to Lagos crying. He may even die if he is not taken. Only just got him a pardon, and I'm telling you the because Nigerians, they, 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 for the first time in life, the judges are going to listen to the masses. The judges are not happy that Nigerians have been said they be collecting bribe. So this time around, they want to do the need for thing. They will train Tinubu. Then there's going to be a rerun election, and it's going to be between P2B. An article and eventually Peter B is going to win the election. Right, so and that is exactly what I see. But I want to say this to Nigerians. So please subscribe to our channel. You know what? Like our videos, then click on the bell button so as to what we receive our daily updates on what on what's going on in Nigeria and the citizen view. Thank you. 